let's write the series in sigma notation. So if we look at one times two, we know that that is just gonna be two. Five times six is 30. Nine times 10 is 90. 13 times 14, 182. Okay, and then it goes on and on and on. So let's see what type of pattern this is. So if I have two and 30 and 90 and 182, it might be geometric if I multiply 15, but then if I multiply 15 again, it's, it doesn't work. So it can't be a geometric. It's definitely not arithmetic. So it might be the grade 11 quadratic. So for that, we need to look at the second difference. So we go down, this would be 28, then 60, and then 92. If we then go down again, this would be 32, ah, and 32 again. So this is a quadratic number pattern. So what we can then do, and each teacher has their own method, but one of the most popular methods I've seen with South African teachers is to use uh, this technique. So 2a is equal to that, 3a plus b is equal to that, and then a plus b plus c is equal to that. And we know that the general formula of a quadratic is a n squared plus b n plus c. So I'm going to start at the bottom, that's where we should start, and I'm going to find a. So if 2a is 32, then a must be 16. Then I'm going to move on to this one. Okay, and so if you had to work out b, what would that be? Minus 20, minus 20. And then if we look, then I move up to the last one, we get a plus b plus c equals to two. And so a is 16, b is 20. And so that's minus four plus c equals to two. And so c would be equal to six. And so therefore tn must be equal to 16n squared, um, minus 20n plus 6. 16n squared minus 20n. Okay, I'm just going to check it quickly. Yeah, it works. Okay, there we go, guys. So now we can fill in the sigma. So now we do the sigma notation. We put a k equals to 1. Type in your tn here. You can't use n because this number at the top is usually a n. So you've got to be careful. I forgot to mention that. Um, we're actually going to use this letter here that we chose. So it could be 16k squared minus 20k plus 6. And you don't have to use k. You could use r or p or v, whatever you want. Um, it's just the most common one is k. Now, we are not going to just put an n over here because they are technically telling us what the last term is equal to. Um, right, so what we do now is we need to know how many terms there are, because they've told us that the last term is that. So if we go work out what 81 times 82 is, we would see that that is 66, um, that is going to be 6642, 6642. So I could use this formula just to quickly work out how many terms there are. So I could say 6642 equals to 16n squared minus 20n plus 6. I could then make a trinomial. And then I can use, oh, let me first simplify this. And then you can use the quadratic formula. Now, I'm just going to quickly fill it in on my calculator. We all know how to use the quadratic formula. There we go. And so n, um, n would be 21 or negative 19,75. But remember that n can never be a negative, and it can also it has to be an integer number um, or a positive um, 
a positive whole number or positive natural number, whatever you want to call it, um, because yeah, n is the number of terms. So therefore, n is 21. So then I can fill in 21 here. So my final answer should look like this.